Anarchism is a political philosophy which holds the state to be undesirable, unnecessary, or harmful. However, others argue that while anti-statism is central, it is inadequate to define anarchism solely on this basis. Therefore, they argue instead that anarchism entails opposing authority or hierarchical organization in the conduct of human relations, including, but not limited to, the state system. Proponents of this form of anarchism advocate stateless societies based on non-hierarchical free associations. Since the last third of the 20th century, anarchists have been involved in student protest movements, peace movements, squatter movements, and the anti-globalization movement, among others. Anarchists have participated in violent revolutions such as in revolutionary Catalonia and the Free Territory and anarchist political organizations such as IWA8 or the IWW exist since the 19th century. Topic overview Anarchism was influential in the counterculture of the 1960s and anarchists actively participated in the late 60s students and workers' revolts. In 1968 in Carrara, Italy, the International of Anarchist Federations was founded during an international anarchist conference held there in 1968 by the three existing European federations of France the Federazione Anarchiste, the Federazione Anarchica Italiana of Italy and the Iberian Anarchist Federation as well as the Bulgarian Federation in French exile. In the United Kingdom in the 1970s this was a associated with the punk rock movement, as exemplified by bands such as Crass pioneers of the anarcho-punk subgenre and the Sex Pistols. The housing and employment crisis in most of Western Europe led to the formation of communes and squatter movements like that of Barcelona, Spain. In Denmark, squatters occupied a disused military base and declared the Freetown Christiania, an autonomous haven in central Copenhagen. The relationship between anarchism, punk, and squatting has carried on into the 21st century. Since the revival of anarchism in the mid-20th century, a number of new movements and schools of thought emerged, well documented in Robert Graham's Anarchism, A Documentary History of Libertarian Ideas, Volume 2, The Emergence of the New Anarchism 1939-1977. Although feminist tendencies have always been a part of the anarchist movement in the form of anarcha-feminism, they returned with vigor during the second wave of feminism in the 1960s. The American Civil Rights Movement and the movement against the war in Vietnam also contributed to the revival of North American anarchism. European anarchism of the late 20th century drew much of its strength from the labor movement, and both have incorporated animal rights activism. Anarchist anthropologist David Greber and anarchist historian André Grabasic have posited a rupture between generations of anarchism, with those who often still have not shaken the sectarian habits of the 19th century contrasted with the younger activists who are much more informed, among other elements, by indigenous, feminist, ecological and cultural critical ideas," and who by the turn of the 21st century formed, by far the majority, of anarchists. Around the turn of the 21st century, anarchism grew in popularity and influence as part of the anti-war, anti-capitalist, and anti-globalization movements. Anarchists became known for their involvement in protests against the meetings of the World Trade Organization, WTO, Group of Eight, and the World Economic Forum. Some anarchist factions at these protests engaged in rioting, property destruction, and violent confrontations with police. These actions were precipitated by ad hoc, leaderless, anonymous cadres known as black blocs. Other organizational tactics pioneered in this time include security culture, affinity groups, and the use of decentralized technologies such as the Internet. 
A significant event of this period was the confrontations at WTO conference in Seattle in 1999. International anarchist federations in existence include the International of Anarchist Federations, the International Workers Association, and International Libertarian Solidarity. The largest organized anarchist movement today is in Spain, in the form of the Confederación General del Trabajo CGT, and the CNT. CGT membership was estimated at around 100,000 for 2003. Other active syndicalist movements include in Sweden the Central Organization of the Workers of Sweden and the Swedish Anarcho-Syndicalist Youth Federation, the CNT-8 in France, the Union Syndicale Italiana in Italy, in the US Workers' Solidarity Alliance and the UK Solidarity Federation. The Revolutionary Industrial Unionist Industrial Workers of the World, claiming 10,000 paying members, and the International Workers Association, an anarcho-syndicalist successor to the First International, also remain active. Anarchist ideas have been influential in the development of the Democratic Federation of Northern Syria DFNS, more commonly known as Rojava, a de facto autonomous region in northern Syria. Abdullah Akhalan a founding member of the Kurdistan Workers' Party PKK, who is currently imprisoned in Turkey, is an iconic and popular figure in the DFNS whose ideas shaped the region's society and politics. While in prison, Ocalan corresponded with and was influenced by Murray Bookchin, an anarcho-communist theorist and philosopher who developed communalism and libertarian municipalism. Modeled after Bookchin's ideas, Ocalan developed the theory of democratic confederalism. In March 2005, he issued his Declaration of Democratic Confederalism in Kurdistan, calling upon citizens to stop attacking the government and instead create municipal assemblies, which he called democracy without the state. Topic: Post-classical schools of thought and movements. Whilst the classical schools of anarchist thought remain popular and relevant to the modern world for example, anarcho-syndicalism, a movement within anarchism that seeks to organize society along economic syndicalism, has proponents that include Noam Chomsky, who said it is highly relevant to advanced industrial societies. Anarchism continues to generate many philosophies and movements, at times eclectic, drawing upon various sources, and syncretic Credit, combining disparate concepts to create new philosophical approaches. Insurrectionary anarchism is a revolutionary theory, practice, and tendency within the anarchist movement which emphasizes insurrection within anarchist practice. It is critical of formal organizations such as labor unions and federations that are based on a political program and periodic congresses. Instead, insurrectionary anarchists advocate informal organization and small affinity group-based organization. Insurrectionary anarchists put value in attack, permanent class conflict, and a refusal to negotiate or compromise with class enemies. The informal anarchist federation, not to be confused with the synthesist Italian anarchist federation, also FAI, is an Italian insurrectionary anarchist organization. It has been described by Italian intelligence sources as a horizontal structure of various anarchist terrorist groups united in their beliefs in revolutionary armed action. In 2003, the group claimed responsibility for a bomb campaign targeting several European Union institutions. In 2010, Italy's Postal Service intercepted a threatening letter containing a bullet addressed to Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. A large envelope containing a letter addressed to Berlusconi with the threat you will end up like a rat was discovered on Friday in a post office in the Libate suburb of the northern city of Milan. 
On 23 December 2010, credit for exploding parcels delivered to the Swiss and Chilean embassies in Rome was claimed by the Informal Anarchist Federation. Green anarchism, or eco -anarchism is a school of thought within anarchism that emphasizes environmental issues, with an important precedent in anarcho-naturism, and whose main contemporary currents are anarcho-primitivism and social ecology. Anarcha-feminism developed as a synthesis of radical feminism and anarchism that views patriarchy male domination over women as a fundamental manifestation of compulsory government. It was inspired by the late 19th century writings of early feminist anarchists such as Lucy Parsons, Emma Goldman, and Voltairine de Clare. Anarcha feminists, like other radical feminists, criticize and advocate the abolition of traditional conceptions of family, education, sex work and gender roles. Anarcho-pacifism is a tendency that rejects violence in the struggle for social change see non-violence. It developed, mostly in the Netherlands, Britain, and the United States, before and during the Second World War. Religious anarchism refers to a set of related anarchist ideologies that are inspired by the teachings of organized religions, but many anarchists have traditionally been skeptical of and opposed to organized religion. Many different religions have served as inspiration for religious forms of anarchism, most notably Christianity, as Christian anarchists believe that biblical teachings give credence to anarchist philosophy. Non-Christian forms of religious anarchism include Buddhist anarchism, Jewish anarchism and most recently neopaganism. Neopaganism focuses on the sanctity of the environment and equality and is often of a decentralized nature. This led to a number of neo-pagan-inspired anarchists, one of the most prominent of which is Starhawk, who writes extensively about both spirituality and activism. Christian anarchism is a movement in political theology that combines anarchism and Christianity. Its main proponents included Leo Tolstoy, Dorothy Day, Amon Hennessy, and Jacques Ellul. Post left anarchy is a recent current in anarchist thought that promotes a critique of anarchism's relationship to traditional left wing politics, such as its emphasis on class struggle, social revolution, labor unions, and the working class. Influenced by anti-authoritarian postmodern philosophy, post-leftists reject Enlightenment rationality and deconstruct topics such as gender. While a few advocate for armed insurrection, most advocate for creating spaces and affinity groups to act freely within current society rather than fighting for utopian ideal. In the United States, Crime Think, Anarchy, a journal of desire armed, and green anarchy are associated with post-leftism, as many post-left anarchists advocate for anarcho-primitivism. Crime Think, which is influenced by situationism, anarcho-punk, and green anarchy, argues for a DIY folk approach to everyday life, including refusal of work, escaping gender roles, and straight-edge lifestyle. Post-anarchism is a revision of classical anarchism through influence of Baudrillard, Deleuze, Foucault, Lacan, and Nietzsche. Critics argue that this theory work ignores principles of economic exploitation and class warfare and does not produce political action. Queer anarchism is a form of socialism which suggests anarchism as a solution to the issues faced by the LGBT community, mainly heteronormativity, homophobia, transphobia, and biphobia. Anarcho-queer arose during the late 20th century based on the work of Michel Foucault The History of Sexuality. Left-wing market anarchism is associated with scholars such as Kevin Carson, Roderick T. Long, Charles Johnson, Brad Spangler, Samuel Edward Konkin III, Sheldon Richman, Chris Matthew Shabara and Gary Chartier, who stress the value of radically free markets, termed freed markets to distinguish them from the common conception which these libertarians believe to be riddled with statist and capitalist privileges. 
referred to as left-wing market anarchists or market-oriented left libertarians, proponents of this approach strongly affirmed the classical liberal ideas of self-ownership and free markets, while maintaining that taken to their logical conclusions these ideas support strongly anti-corporatist, anti-hierarchical, pro-labor positions in economics, anti-imperialism in foreign policy, and thoroughly liberal or radical views regarding such cultural issues as gender, sexuality, and race. This strand of left libertarianism tends to be rooted either in the mutualist economics conceptualized by Pierre Joseph Proudhon, American individualist anarchism, or in a left wing interpretation or extension of the thought of Murray Rothbard. Free market anarchism, usually referring to anarcho capitalism, is a political philosophy advocating property rights and the non aggression principle. While not considered to be a form of anarchism by the majority of anarchists, due to its connection with capitalism, it is most common in the United States. It is based on a belief in the freedom to own private property, a rejection of any form of governmental authority or intervention, and the upholding of the competitive free market as the main mechanism for social interaction. Quote, Anarcho-capitalists advocate for all services, including law enforcement and security, to be performed by multiple private providers all competing for business, rather than by a monopolist state agency funded by taxation. Anarcho-capitalism's proponents include Murray Rothbard, David D. Friedman, Hans Hermann Hopp and Walter Bloch, Anarcho-transhumanism is a recently new branch of anarchism that takes traditional and modern anarchism, typically anarcho-syndicalism and combines it with transhumanism and post-humanism. It can be described as a liberal democratic revolution, at its core the idea that people are happiest when they have rational control over their lives. Reason, science, and technology provide one kind of control, slowly freeing us from ignorance, toil, pain, disease and limited lifespans aging. Topic. Types of organization Synthesis anarchism is a form of anarchist organization that tries to join anarchists of different tendencies under the principles of anarchism without adjectives. In the 1920s, this form found as its main proponents the anarcho-communists Voline and Sébastien Faure. It is the main principle behind the anarchist federations grouped around the contemporary Global International of Anarchist Federations. The International of Anarchist Federations IAF, IFA, was founded during an international anarchist conference in Carrara in 1968 by the three existing European anarchist federations of France Federazione Anarchiste, Italy Federazione Anarchica Italiana and Spain Federazione Anarchista Iberica as well as the Bulgarian Federation in French exile. These organizations were also inspired on synthesis principles. Currently alongside the previously mentioned federations, the IAF includes the Argentine Libertarian Federation, the Anarchist Federation of Belarus, the Federation of Anarchists in Bulgaria, the Czech-Slovak Anarchist Federation, the Federation of German-speaking Anarchists I post N Germany and Switzerland, and the Anarchist Federation in the United Kingdom and Ireland. Platformism is a tendency within the wider anarchist movement based on the organizational theories in the tradition of D.L.O. Truda's organizational platform of the General Union of Anarchists draft. The document was based on the experiences of Russian anarchists in the 1917 October Revolution, which led eventually to the victory of the Bolsheviks over the anarchists and other groups. The platform attempted to address and explain the anarchist movement's failures during the Russian Revolution. Today, platformism is an important current in international anarchism. 
Around 30 platformists and especifistas are linked together in the Anarchismo.net project, including groups from Africa, Latin America, North America and Europe. At least in terms of the number of affiliated organizations, the Anarchismo network is larger than other anarchist international bodies, like the International of Anarchist Federations and the International Workers' Association. It is not, however, a formal, international, and has no intention of competing with these other formations. Today there are organizations inspired by the platform in many countries, including the Workers' Solidarity Movement in Ireland, Common Struggle, Lucha Commune in the United States, the Union Communiste Libertaire in Quebec, Common Cause in Ontario, the Federación Comunista Libertaria FCL, and Organización Comunista Libertaria OCL, in Chile, the Federación Anarco Comunista de Argentina FACA, and Linea Anarcho Comunista LAC in Argentina, the Federazione dei Comunisti Anarchici FDCA in Italy, the Forum do Anarchismo Organizado in Brazil, Union Socialista Libertaria in Peru, the Organization Communiste Libertaire and Alternative Libertaire in France, the Alianza de los Comunistas Libertarios ACL in Mexico, the Melbourne Anarchist Communist Group MACG and Sydney Anarchist Communist Trajectory SACT in Australia, Motmacht in Norway, Libertaire Socialister in Denmark, Collective Action in the UK, the Zabalaza Anarchist Communist Front ZACF in South Africa, and the Revolutionary Confederation of Anarcho-Syndicalists by the name of N.I. Makhno, RKAS, which is an international anarcho-syndicalist, platformist confederation with sections and individual members in Ukraine. Russia, Georgia, Germany, Latvia, Bulgaria and Israel. Organizations inspired by the platform were also among the founders of the now-defunct International Libertarian Solidarity Network and its successor, the Anarchismo Network, which is run collaboratively by roughly 30 platformist and especifista organizations around the world. Topic. New Anarchism New Anarchism is a term that has been notably used by André Grabasic, amongst others, to describe the most recent reinvention of the anarchist thought and practice. What distinguishes the new anarchism of today from the new anarchism of the 1960s and 1970s, or from the work of U.S. UK-based authors like Murray Bookchin, Paul Goodman, Herbert Reed, Colin Ward and Alex Comfort, is its emphasis on the global perspective. Essays on new anarchism include David Greber's New Anarchists. In a movement of movements, is another world really possible? Ed. Tom Mertes, London, Verso, 2004, and Grubacic's Towards Another Anarchism, in World Social Forum, Challenging Empires, ed. J. Sin and Peter Waterman, Montreal, Black Rose Books, 2007. Other authors have criticized the term for being too vague. Topic. See also. Anarchism and the Occupy Movement Anarchist Schools of Thought History of Anarchism <laughs>